Hey guys, my name is Jess. Kind of quick video. So when it comes to base transfers, you are gonna have to transfer your stuff from your old base to your new base. That's pretty much it. Now the key to this is that you want to have a centralized location so that you can access all of these things at ease. So that when you transfer the stuff from the old base to the new base, you don't have to go all around throughout your base looking for them throughout different little chests and whatnot. So you also want to try to get as many grapple guns as you can, preferably four of them, so that you can move at a faster rate while you're over encumbered, when you're overweight and stuff. So next, you want to also destroy all of the empty nodes, okay? That just means that things that are at zero out of a number, zero out of 99, whatever. Just if, they're, if they're done and done, destroy it, put it in your storage chest. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, okay? It is very important that you have a designated area that is for storage so that pals your transport pals you know level three level four whatever transport pals you have they pick up the stuff from your nodes your stations and move it into the big chest rinse and repeat rinse and repeat this way when you destroy the power box and everything's nice and clean it's only the husk the shell you grab all the innards and put it into your new base all right next you also when it comes to the bulk stuff that you have if you have leftover stone and whatnot just get them all out okay now by that i mean you can either make use of them cement um spheres fragments whatnot anything of that sort just get them all used up because the less stuff you gotta haul the better this way you don't have to make so many chests everywhere and it just becomes a big fat mess all right and so technically what you should also do is any of the remaining chests that you have like right here i have second floor third floor third floor that are have chests and whatnot i want to empty those cargo put it down into my downstairs unit and then destroy the storage units up above that aren't a part of my central storage unit because this way i and the pals won't be just you know having to go all over the place to get them and i kind of said this earlier but i just want to reiterate it it's very important because it just becomes a really long and tedious process so just finish making everything that you need to make spheres cement food whatever and yeah just 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 get it out just get it out okay you don't want to lug 300 stacks of things it, it gets really annoying and really annoying fast okay so that's why i'm making all my 500k stone into fragments this way i can use it all into um making spheres and uh things of that nature Woo! that was a long one so yeah we're j j you know it's easy to d make and destroy things it's hard to haul things okay it, it's, it's really hard to haul things and so pretty much yeah that's kind of just it. It, it you know you can look at all the tips here and there on the video but this is just me kind of narrating what i'm doing i'm adding more stoves to make more food this way i get the i get all the food out and into an actual food you know material salads uh, jam filled buns whatever stuff like that this way i can just easily transport it into a, um, a food box without having to go through 30 plus stacks worth of tomatoes and lettuce you know it's just that sort of nature where you're technically downsizing if you have like a big house and then you just you know downsize to like an apartment it's kind of just that gist um so yeah i have probably i think nine cargo units filled with stuff which is pretty easy this just means that i just need to take all of that stuff out nine times you, you know i take it out here go to my next base location open up the cargo deposit it into the cargo go back to the old base take out the cargo you know move it back to the new base second cargo is in third fourth fifth six all the way up to nine and then i can go on my way making the base the new base and it's just that easy it's it's just takes time for the pals to start transporting it obviously you can go about doing it, it it's probably like 50 times faster because i went afk for a good like four hours because i had hundreds of thousands of materials all over this place littered inside the nodes the hell zephyrs were still taking their sweet time getting them out and you see here i have on screen a stray barrel multiple stray barrels that i totally forgot about you know and yeah i would have missed a lot of that stuff if i had forgotten it because it doesn't come with you when you destroy your base it does not come with you when you destroy it so that's why i highly recommend picking it up picking everything out and moving it downstairs until you're ready to make the final jump 
and it, it, I, it can be overwhelming. It can be overwhelming, but when you get used to it, you just gotta do it once or twice and you're, you're, you're good to go, right? So after all this done, I won't have any more some. I won't have any more stone. I'll have probably three stacks worth of cement. I think it's probably gonna be like maybe ten stacks worth of cement that came out of like four hundred thousand stone. It's kind of wild, cause I, I I still haven't you know taken out all my stone from my nodes and whatnot. But yeah, it's it's plain and simple. Very plain and simple. It's so easy to destroy things, but it's so hard to haul everything yourself, cause it's just tiring and annoying. So that's why I littered my entire base with the transport pals. The majority of it. I have made it so that my cement and sulfur and stuff like that will be done by my handy workers. My level, level 5 handy workers, so it'll be nice and fast that way. But aside from that, this is technically all you gotta do. You just, you just empty it out, destroy the stuff that's inside, and then transport it. It's literally like how a crab molts its shell. Right? I think that's how it does, right? Anyways, yeah, just make more stations so that you can empty out the base faster, so you don't have to do it. It's better to do it now, leave the base, go do something else, come back, and when it's all done transporting into the centralized units, then that's where you begin the official transfer. It's, 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 it, it's the lazy way to do it. You can obviously do it in a more faster fashion by manually transporting everything into the cargoes instead of having a transfer pals do it but i like the transfer pals it it just feels better right? it just feels more more lively less of me more of them sort of thing i don't know this music i'm listening to the audio music right now and it is just so majestic i'm like feeling like i'm preaching something and i don't know when i'm gonna end this video hopefully it's soon Oh, yep, here it's soon. Okay, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. My name is Jess. Please like, comment, subscribe. This is how you transfer your base to a new location. Peace!